Good morning. Good morning. Today's today's stream is brought to you by um nothing. I'm not sponsored. But if you want to hit the Weeble link down below, if you don't have a Weeble account, hit it. You get two free stocks if you sign up, and you help me out too. So free money all around. Two free stocks, and you get to use the Weeble app, which you are seeing right in front of you right now, which is kind of nice. Just saying. Morning, everyone. How we doing today? Merry Christmas. Um, you know, happy holidays. Uh, we got New Year's Eve and day coming up, which is awesome. Uh, it's been an exciting week. I don't know about you guys, but I ate a lot of food. Probably gained five pounds. And now we are back to stocks. Feels good to be back at it. Feels good. I'm a guy who likes the work week. That's just me. Anyway, we got three minutes till market open. Let's just get right into it. Um, this is SPY, as you can tell from the past. I don't even know. How long has this been going up? One, two, three, four, five days in a row. We've been nice and green, slowly but surely. And it has not stopped in pre or post market. Really nice. So if you are uh, in stocks, again, the time to buy stocks was about a week ago. I said this, like we called this out. This was not a surprise. I bought everything I could. And now I think I'm going to sell, uh, depending what happens today. So I have a ton of stocks here that are finally green and looking really good. And I'm going to start selling off. Apple, I think, is one of them. Um, Apple, I think, is one of them. As you can see here, uh, you can see this trend line. Uh, it's about to hit it. And so I think I'm going to sell right here. Absolutely, it can go higher. It's Apple. Absolutely, it can go higher. But I'm going to sell just because it's principled, you know, and I, I want to throw the money elsewhere. The stock moves at a glacial pace because it's Apple, which is completely fine. If that's what you want for slow growth, I don't. I want more aggressive uh, growth, so I'm going to sell out. Um, hopefully, I think it's going to like boom up uh, in the first probably like 30 minutes of the market and then come back down. That's my guess. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this and then sell out. Yeah. Um, actually, I could probably just limit sell right now. It's 178.50. Yeah, I can probably just do that here. Watch. Uh, limit sell, 178.50 for the day, and I only have one stock. Bang, boom. That's how it's done. Look at that. Now I don't even have to look at it. And if it sells, it's great. If it doesn't, whatever. I don't care. Oh, I wish I could play music. Last time I played music, I got a copyright strike. Or I didn't get striked, sorry. I just got a copyright... Uh, warning so i had to take it down it's sad but yeah good morning everyone uh if you're new here welcome hit the like button if you're not new here hit the like button because that's i mean you should know the drill but now know the drill know it anyway uh what's going on today that's a good question um we're getting a lot of news for this santa rally I guess this is a Santa rally. Um, I, I, I thought it'd be more dramatic, but it, it, it's a Santa rally. You know, it, it, it happened. It, it went up. So, yeah. Royalty free. Yeah, the problem with royalty free music, it's usually just not great. It's usually just not great, in my opinion. And I do have some. Uh, there is Stream Beats. I don't know if you guys know Stream Beats, but Harris Heller is an amazing person on YouTube, and he makes all these... Um, DMCA royalty free stuff. It's incredible, but eh, eh, we'll get there. Anyway, uh, market opened here. Let's see what happens. Go to the one minute. Alrighty. Let's see. I have no idea where this is heading. I can imagine the direction is up. It seems like everything is back in euphoric. Everyone's back from holiday. You know, we should be good to go. Let's get, let's get it going, right? I don't think it's going to be as heavy as January. I think January is going to be a huge buying month, but it should end on a really nice note here. I think it, we're set up pretty properly uh, just to keep going. And look at that. Already in the first minute, high of the day, and a new high, not of all time, but it's already breaking the previous resistance, which is awesome. So 
yeah, we're looking really good already. Um, yeah. Quickly, I want to look at Apple, and as you can see, oh shoot, did I m do that wrong? One seventy-eight fifty. No, I did. I did it right. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep rocking it. Trend line looks different here. That like it looks lower. It's not. It's not. It's it's because the um, y-axis is autoed depending on the time frame I'm using, so it it messes everything up. But it, it's correct. I'm still selling at one seventy-eight fifty. Okay, cool. Uh, go back to spy real quick. I just want to see how we're doing. Um, yeah, just blowing it out of the water. It looks like there's no hesitation. It looks like we want to go up. Tesla calls calls on Tesla right now. Let me think. A thousand seventy. Again, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. Um, you can absolutely feel free. I think it's a little bit more of a gamble at this point, as you can see the trend line. It's about to hit it. So I don't know if it's going to get rejected there. I don't know. Again, I think the time to buy anything was five days ago or a week, like, like five trading days ago. Right. Um, cause again, like that's, everything was dirt cheap, including Tesla. Tesla was at eight, eight eighty three at the lowest. So I don't know if I would buy now, like I'm trying to sell now, like I'm on the complete opposite end of things. Like I bought the dip. Now I'm trying to sell at the high. Right. Um, so I don't know if I would buy anything right now. Feel free to, you know, if you see the opportunity, go for it. But I don't know. It seems a little bit gambly to me. Um, it's not, it's clearly not the time to like there's no dip here. Like we're, we're already in euphoria. So I don't know if it's like you should buy here, but do what you want. You know what I mean? If you want to do Tesla calls and it's, it's 50, 50, right? It absolutely could happen. It looks like to me, the EV craze is a little bit over, but ha feel free. You know, it's up to you. I'm not going to dissuade you anyway, but I'm not going to encourage it either. That's what I'll say I'm definitely done buying Tesla for a while. I'm going to hold it and just wait and see what happens. I'm definitely not buying any more and just see it. That's, that's me. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, but up to you. If you're feeling confident, have fun. Buy is already at 473, which is wonderful. Everything is looking really good. Uh, I found out that Christmas spending as a, um, compared to 2020 is up 8.5% this year. So that means we spent 8.5% more this year, which is actually nuts. If you think about it, 8.5% on holiday season is millions upon millions of millions of dollars. It's crazy amount of money. So, you know, go consumerism well done. And so I think that is also playing into the, um, huge euphoria here. I think everyone is ready to see those Q4 earnings next, you know, in the next coming months and everyone's going to be really happy. Yeah. Everything's looking good. Everything's just looking solid. Um, let's see. Yeah. I keep looking back at Apple just cause I don't want to miss the sell period. I want to miss it. I think I could just sell now. I mean, what's the difference between here and a dollar? It's a dollar. Um, but you know what? I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to stick to my guns. You know, that was the price I wanted to get out at. So let's, let's get out there. Sure. Why not? Worst case, we sell a little bit under and that's not the end of the world. Looks like a pullback is happening though on the spy. So hopefully I probably we're going to see that everywhere. Tesla, how we doing? It looks good. Like I like Tesla. I'm a fan. Hopefully it doesn't get rejected here at the trend line or the 200. Uh, hopefully it stays above it and just consolidates and hits it. That'd be great. I'd love this if it hit well over like 1150 today. Like that'd be amazing. But it's that's going to be a long, long road. So we'll see. Matterport, how we doing? We were looking good pre-market. And then, of course, it's falling hard. It was already at 2440. Down a dollar underneath that. That sucks. I want Matterport and uh, Facebook to be doing really well. Facebook is doing really well. Strangely, Facebook's doing well. Matterport isn't. That sucks. It'll catch up. It'll catch up. But as you can see, your Facebook is coming back up here. It looks like it broke the trend line. And what I mean by that is this. Broke through. And so hopefully we can stay above that. And we're looking really good. Looking really good. Blue chips are looking solid. Large caps are nice. A day. Go back to spy. Let's see if we're hitting a bounce. Okay, so we did bounce back a little bit. Let's see if we stay above it and break new highs. That'd be great. 
again, I was, I'm was i ready for Euphoria. I've been saying this all week. I've been watching the live streams. Like, I'm ready for this. This is exactly what I want to see. I don't want to see any more dip. Like, let's just get going on the market and get everything back up and going. Um, but again, you have to be kind of a contrarian when it comes to the market. You got to buy the dip, which sounds a lot easier than it actually is. It sounds a lot easier than it is. Because how many of you actually bought anything last week? I'm going to say probably none, right? Like, it, it was really difficult to do that because you're seeing the market do this, right? Like, if you just saw it right here, right, you might not want to buy that. Like, you're like, oh, that looks scary. What if we keep dropping, right? But that's what you have to be. You have to be a little bit of contrarian. You have to be, you know what? I'm going to buy the dip. It's low. I'm going to buy it. And if it goes lower, that's okay. I'm just going to buy more. And then you ride this back up, right? And then you sell here. Not buy here. You sell here. Right, so you have to go against what the market is doing in a way, in a way. A little bit more complex than that, but that's, that's the basics of it. But it's really difficult to do that in practice. Super easy to do on paper. Super easy to do in hindsight. But you have to do that in practice. And again, live stream the entire thing. I showed you guys that. That's what I'm doing. And now I'm in the kind of the selling period. Like, okay, and now I'm going to just take my profits and then put it somewhere else. That's what you got to do. That's stock market 101. But again, very difficult to do when you see the market crashing. Very difficult to keep a level head and buy something because you see everything red. You're like, oh, this is terrible. But that's it in a nutshell. Uh, speaking of which, like SoFi is on my list. Uh, I went up to 4, 15, 20 today. Yeah, not a lot of action on this, but give it some time. Give it some time. I think it will. I think it will pop. Oh, stocky side, how are we looking? Uh, we still need to break this resistance at 163. Until it does that, eh. I'm making money on it, but not much. So maybe I'll just sell at the resistance, depending what happens. Depends on the action. Upstart, we're finally looking good. Hopefully this is the bounce. That'd be great if it was. Um, or if it gets rejected here, pfft, that sucks. But again, I want to see these kind of companies, Upstart, um, this sector uh finally do well up work separate thing but same issue um kind of the gig economy stocks not looking great and starts it needs to start looking good like fiverr for instance how are we looking on that same exact graph so buy is consolidating uh, we are not making new highs but we are consolidating which is a good step good step if we can keep going here um let's see apple did it sell yet uh we're 14 cents away from selling we're getting there we are getting there i think it will well um yeah here just to be safe i'm just gonna bring this down to the high of the day and if it breaks it wonderful if it doesn't eh, whatever talking 14 cents not a big deal Corsair has been an interesting storyline. Um, went low of twenty dollars and now it's up at twenty two forty five. This is an interesting one. It keeps getting rejected at the two hundred here, so you can imagine if it gets to the two hundred, it's probably going to get rejected. That's just what history tells me. But hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully we finally break through. Because when this company does break through, oh, it's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. I think it's going to two x within like a month. That kind of thing. It's going to be huge. But we'll see if that actually happens. We'll see. Cool. Uh, so what's happening? Should we trade today to spy, like calls, puts, anything like that? I don't know. I personally wouldn't, especially not right now, unless something crazy happens. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It seems like a consolidation. It seems like every day this week, you know what I mean? It's going up, but not amazingly so, right? Every day during the price action, like, look at this, right? We're not talking crazy gains per day, but it is gains. It's gains nonetheless, right? Like it's, it's not crazy, but it's something. Not wild, but you know, it's there. So I don't know, like, I think it's going to be another one of these days where it's, it's up, but not amazingly so. 
So would you trade that? Ah. Uh, not unless something crazy happens. You can see here in the four hour chart, uh, we're almost near uh, overbought at the RSI. So one has to at least think about a correction happening, which definitely can happen. This thing can come right back down to the 200, right? That's a lot of correction waiting uh, if it was, if it's going to, right? So you have to keep that in mind too. Like, are we going to correct? Are we going to go back down? Or there's going to be euphoria back up to new highs up to like 475 ish, maybe hard to say, really hard to say. So, I don't know. Tesla is slowly creeping back up, kind of bouncing, consolidating. It seems like everything is kind of doing the same thing, actually. Oh, looks like my Apple order just sold. Perfect. Nice. Lovely. It's nice when you get a, you know, a successful stock, you know what I mean? When everything just goes according to plan does feel really good. And now I have more buying power, so now I can throw that wherever. Really nice, and look at that, it's almost getting rejected. Seems like my sell here was okay. I think it will break higher, but just for the time being, it looks good, you know what I mean? It makes you feel good. That's like you sold here, and we're coming down. Again, I do think it's gonna start making higher highs, but whatever, whatever. Buy has been is ultra boring right now. Over the last 10 minutes has been consolidating. Nothing really to report there. Let's see if there's any news. Anything going on in the world? Um, hold on. Guys talking about crypto. We can see what he's saying. Million dollar scam, which by in turn is actually not the biggest scam in crypto that's happened this year. Um, but uh, that token fell a lot. Another another uh, uh, scam or not scams necessarily. A non scam uh, bad performer was. Uh, a token for this uh, DeFi project called uh, Bogged Finance. So what happened there was um, the hackers actually uh, leaked all of the funds and, and sort of got away with it. So, uh, you know, typically worst performers in this area are, are not your typical just like slow moving cryptocurrencies. That we have not talked about exist. crypto. Hold on. I'm gonna, I don't know what this guy's saying, but I don't really care. Uh, oh, Spy just made a new high. Great. Uh, what's crypto doing? Oh, crypto's looking good. Wow, crypto's looking good, actually. Oh, sorry, hold on. There you go. So this is Bitcoin, check it out. Um, wow. Yeah, all the way from 42, flash crash to 42. It came right back up. This thing has been consolidated around 46 to 48, 46 to 48. And then finally, we're breaking through the mold here at the 51-ish uh, price, I guess, 51,000-ish. Um, anyway, we're breaking through and if we keep making higher highs, oh, this is looking super bullish. This is looking really good. Uh, ADA. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. That's a bounce. That's a bounce. That's looking great. Ethereum. Same exact thing. Lovely. Crypto's back at it. Uh, again, if you're not in crypto, d d try it. Throw 10% of your portfolio in crypto. You know what I mean? Just like a little bit. Put a hundred dollars in it just to get your feet wet. That kind of thing, you know? Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, these are the only ones I actually trade. Um, I don't really care about Dogecoin or Shiba Inu. I use, I actually did this more for like projects than anything. I'm going to actually unfollow it now because I don't really care. I mean, honestly, I'll keep Dogecoin just because it's kind of interesting to follow. But anyway, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and ADA, those are the only ones I trade. Honestly, just throw $100 in Ethereum, call it a day. Just see what happens. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter when, just throw it in there and just wait. Just don't sell ever. Just just so you can keep conscious of the price action. I think it's so good. Crypto's amazing. Crazy investment and even better technology. Spy, we hit the new high, immediately went back down to the consolidation phase. It happens. It happens. I want to check Apple one more time, see if it hit highs. Yep, there's that 50 cent mark that we're talking about. Now an interesting question is, is it gonna get rejected here at the trend line? Or is it just gonna break through and not care about the trend line? We will find out. Find out. Looks like heavy rejection so far at that trend line. See if it keeps going. Looks like a firm is coming back up since after this crazy non euphoric dips. Upstart is leading the charge. Affirm AMD. 
Yo, know, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is really interesting. That's not. Oh, there it is. Check it out, NVIDIA. Wild stuff. Yeah, that dip at 265 was crazy. How much is it up already from 265 to now? Yeah, 15% already on NVIDIA. This is a good one. Great stock. Upwork, Neo. Okay, so it, does, it just looks like everything is up. There's no real sector that's like shining here. It's just it's just up, just up. Hippo way down low. Peloton, not surprising for either of those. Lucid, on direct. GameStop, AMC. Got AMC real quick. How are we doing on AMC? So it went down to twenty dollars, went up to thirty dollars, and now we're back down to twenty seven. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it looks like meme stocks are not doing too well. I wonder if people are over it or if we're looking for the next thing. Hard to say. Really hard to say. Uh, Wish is one of them as well. Also not looking good. Yeah, meme stocks are uh, kind of failing. Kind of failing. Which isn't the end of the world. I don't really love them because it's purely based on retail hype, which is not the best fundamental factor when it comes to stock price action but you know whatever you can still make a lot of money so there's that but it doesn't look like it's doing well so uh, maybe next week you know it's going to be huge rises maybe yeah, nothing else is really catching my eye here SoFi is still not doing well it looks like um fintech in general isn't like how's paypal doing i wonder Uh, uh, not great. <laughs> it's finally above the 50. Let's see if it stays above there, but it's still not doing great. It's not shining by any means. So we're going to wait on all of those fintechs, which sucks because I wish those would finally do well. But it looks like we're just right back into consolidation. Not super fun. See here, that's where the consolidation's happening. Not that hard to see. Not that hard to see. But that's, that's where we're at. You can even go a little bit higher, honestly, something like this. Right around there. We'll see if it stays within this consolidation or if we do start making new highs. I would love it. Would love it if we break up to like 475, get new highs of all time today. That'd be amazing. Amazing. See if that happens. Apple got rejected clearly at the trend line, which is really interesting. Let's see if it at all today uh, does break through. Super interesting to see a trend line stay true. Good practice. Good practice. We're, what, 18 minutes into the market now, so let's see what happens. Oh yeah, the next thing I wanted to sell was Facebook. Oh, did I miss it? So I drew the trend line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We broke through it. Hmm. Do I want to sell Facebook? Do I even want to do that? I'm, I'm getting out at a good... I mean, I'm 5% up, which is all that I really wanted from it. I didn't really want more than that. I want. Do I want more? It's a hard one. I don't know. Sell at 5% or not to sell at 5%? What do you guys think? I'm getting 5% profit. I mean, I don't really need more than that. This was a very quick trade. I don't really care that much. I could put it somewhere else, but where am I going to put it is really the question. I mean, there's no screaming deals. You know what I could do is pad up my red stocks that are like low caps or small caps. Or not small caps, but medium caps, so like SoFi, for instance. What I could do is a uh, dollar cost average down uh, from into SoFi to make my profit a little bit easier. I could do the same thing with Palantir. Do the same thing with Upwork, Affirm. I could pad up my red stocks with that money. I could. The problem is if it goes lower, that's going to not feel so good. Man, that's a hard choice. Tattooed Chef, Falling... Falling, falling. Could do it to Tattoo Chef as well. Hmm. 
Hard choice. Hard choice. I don't know. We're looking good. We broke through the trend line. Do I follow that instinct and keep it because we broke through? So we should be making higher highs in the next coming week. Or should I sell it and then put that money elsewhere? Goodness. I don't know. It is a hard decision. It, luckily, it's a fun decision to be in because you're it's it's how much money you're going to make, not if you're going to make money at all. So that is a good spot to be in. I just don't, I don't know. I could put it into a different company altogether, like Matterport, something like that. Could put it in uh, Roblox to get my feet wet, feet wet with Roblox. Goodness. Yeah, that's a hard one. I don't know. Uh, speaking of which, looks like Spy absolutely broke through the mold. Not even close. And bang, we are almost at 474. Well on our way. It's awesome. That is awesome. And same thing with Tesla. Like, I could sell it Tesla. Like, look, I hit the trend line. Oh, I've totally missed that. Oh, I completely missed that it even did that. I guess I should have sold there. That would have been smart. That would have been a smart technical analysis sell right there. Do it at the trend line. Missed it. Missed that. Uh, 1,095 is my trend line. So it does have to hit 1,095 again, which is right here-ish. Definitely a resistance. And yeah, I missed that. Oops. I'll do it again here. I'll do a sell. Here, oh wait, it's fractional, isn't it? Fractional, I have to do it on my phone. Weirdly, you can't do fractional selling um, on the desktop, or at least I didn't figure out how, which is weird. I don't know why they did that. Makes sense, but what are you gonna do? Sell to close, let's do a limit sell. Oh, you can only do fractional sharing for market orders. God. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You win, Weeble. I'll do it your way. So I'll watch this, get alerted, create an alert at uh, my trend line, and then I'll sell on my phone. That's how you do it. Set an alert, sell on your phone. Ridiculous. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. That's Facebook Tesla. DocuSign. Again, I wanted to sell at the here. I'll even throw an alert on there just in case. I don't want to miss it. Could sell there. That is perfectly fine with me. Or maybe write it back up. That'd be nice, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah, things are going well today. We're back to euphoria. I'm feeling good finally. Not bad. Not bad. Spy dipping back down, all the way back down to consolidation. That's crazy. We flashed up, flashed down. Look at that. Okay. Guess that's what we're doing today. Go back to the watch list, see what's going on here. Upstart still breaking through. Upwork is breaking through nicely. Yeah, those are, that's great candles. That's looking great. We need a huge bounce. We need to get back up to, again, right around $40. We're far away from that, but it's possible. AMD is a really interesting stock as well. A huge buy the dip opportunity happened last week with everything. I mean, literally everything was falling. So everything last week was a huge buying dip opportunity. But now breaking through that previous resistance, finally breaking through probably on the ways to new highs which is only right around 10%, not the craziest of deals, but still something to keep an eye on. A firm up there, we talked about NVIDIA, we talked about Meta Platforms, still on. Rivian, Lulu, Tesla, yeah, everything's looking great. Downside, GameStop. GameStop specifically is kind of strange. Like this thing is specifically other than AMC or yeah, AMC. Like AMC is not doing terrible, but GameStop looks like it's doing awful. GameStop looks like it's doing awful. Like it hasn't been this low since poof. Six months ago. I mean that's 
That's not looking great. That's not looking good. Especially when you think of like the trend line here of like, I mean, clearly we're just like going down. Just not, it's not good. Hype might be over. Ladies and gents. Or an Iniesta. Yeah, the hype might be over for meme stocks. I don't I don't want to call it too early, but I don't know. I don't I'm not seeing it. You can see there's no real technical analysis happening anymore. Like we're just kind of in no man's land for pattern recognition here. Maybe this is a reverse head and shoulders actually. So shoulder, head, shoulder, which means it's it's a bullish pattern. Should be great. Um that'd be cool. So if we bounce at 25, reverse head and shoulders. It's something. I'll set an alert. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'll set an alert. Yeah, nothing amazing. Matterport's still not doing great, but we'll get there. We will get there. Bye. Here's the bounce back up. Again, we are consolidating, though. I mean, this isn't not really hard to see, but there you go. There's the consolidation rectangle. Really hope anyone bought with me last week on literally anything. It seems like everything is kind of coming back up. So reap those rewards. Reap those rewards. Don't just do options. Don't just do options. You know what I mean? If options aren't in the plan, like if they just aren't looking good, don't do them. Buy stocks instead. You can always get out of the stocks and then throw them back into options right after. Completely fine to do. I do it all the time. As you just see here, I'm doing it right now. And I'm still making money on it. Not as much as I would be if I was trading just options, but I would be maybe losing a lot of money as well if I was just doing options. So you know, take your pick. Sometimes it's okay to play it a little bit safe. Sometimes that's okay. Yeah, Facebook is coming back down below this trend line slowly, which doesn't make me feel too good. Be honest, if it if it stays below that and this was a fake out, ah, oh, I should I should probably should have just sold. Um, but hopefully it bounces. You know, hopefully this is just a new support. Let's go like five minute maybe. There we go. Hopefully if it does come down, this is a new support and bounces off of it rather than breaks below it. Hopefully. Looks like Tesla, um, yeah, we are coming back here. Uh, is it at the trend line? Not quite. Again, I have my alert set. I'm going to sell at the trend line here and call it a day with Tesla. Yes, it absolutely could break up to like 1200 again over time. And, and, you know, matter of fact, it actually will do that. I know that for a fact it will. It just depends on the timing of it. I'm going to get out here just again, because it's good principle. It's, good, it's just good principle to take your money. And this is a very clear trend line happening here. And I'm going to get out just to stay principled. Purely that. If I was a hodler, which most Tesla people are, hold it. You know, I'm in at a good price. I would hold it forever. Call it good. But I'm going to get out because, again, I want to be a principled investor and get out when my chart tells me, hey, it's probably a good idea to get out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. See how quickly this breaks out. We'll put it on, we'll keep on Tesla for a little bit. It's always fun to watch a Tesla stock. It's always so crazy and volatile, which makes no sense because we're talking just millions upon millions of dollars being traded every minute. It's crazy. Tesla's fun. Uh, Elon Musk said he is still not done selling, if I'm not mistaken. Um, somewhere. The Floki themed knockoff coin is up 405% after Elon's tweet. Ugh. The fact that Elon can control entire markets of crypto is hilarious. Hilarious. Like, what a crazy, crazy thing we are all just, I guess, okay with. <laughs> so funny. Coming back down. Shoot. Not fun. Look at that heavy drop. I'll just wait. I don't really care. I'm waiting it out. Let's go back to spy.
Uh, yep, just consolidate. <laughs> Nothing crazy happening here. I'll even include that little there. there. Okay, it's gonna be a consolidation. Oh, looks like we're finally breaking out. Hopefully we can stay there. Nothing crazy exciting. I didn't see any crazy news either. Um, S&P tracking uh, aims to touch all time highs. Yep, that is probably gonna happen if not today, tomorrow probably. That's great. Hopefully, you know, as long as everything stays. Um, let me see if there's any news or anything to cover here because I'm not seeing anything. Uh, Alphabet was the top big tech stock of the year. I mean, okay. No one cares. No one cares. Doubt that. Trying to remove limits on foreign investment in passenger car menu. Okay, I don't care. What about work for? Okay. Fauci says COVID cases will go much higher. Yep. Uh, yeah, these are nothing. This is literally nothing. Uh, goodness gracious. Oh, No Way Home becomes first pandemic era film to break one billion at global box office. Congrats. Great movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, awesome. Uh, Israel tests fourth COVID vaccine dose. Sure. Dude, there is nothing. I mean, I guess there's no news because everyone was on a holiday and there's nothing crazy happening, but still. Nothing. Wow. All the indices are up except the Russell. Looking good. I mean, everything's just, everything's just looking good. Yeah, I mean, no, no bad news, no great news, but no bad news, and everything's just chilling. Kind of nice. It's kind of nice actually. Doesn't does this kind of quiet moment doesn't happen that often? Like especially in December, these quiet moments didn't happen. So it does feel kind of nice that we're just we're in it. We're, we're green. No one's freaking out. You know what I mean? It does feel a lot more calm in the marketplace. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I haven't felt that in about a month. I don't know. Actually, let's go back to the big chart. Like when before this happened. Yeah, November. Yeah, I haven't felt this since November. <laughs> Crazy. It does feel good. It feels normal. Like everything feels calm and relaxed. It's kind of nice. Hope you guys are nice and calm and relaxed today. Hope everyone's making money. If you're new here, give a shout out. You know what I mean? Say you're new. Say what's up. We got the crew here. Hit the Discord link down below if you want to join the Discord. See every time I go live. Hit the like button for everyone. If you're new here or not and you haven't hit the like button, just go for it. Does, does hit it. You get great content after you hit the like button on, on any video. So you'll see stuff learning about the stock market, about options, stuff like that. It's huge. Oh, it's such good info. Not just from me, from everyone on YouTube. It's great. Uh, you'll learn that and then you'll get to see every time I go live, which is also really nice. I do have a video explaining exactly what's happening here if you're new here. So check out my videos, check out my most popular one. You'll see what's exactly going on here. And so forth. I stream every single morning, just so if you don't know, I stream every single morning at market open. So if you're here, if you're trying to trade the stock market and you have no idea what you're looking at, but you want some guidance and you want someone to answer your questions, I'm your guy. Come here and ask all the questions away. I will absolutely answer everything I can. Simple as that. Simple as that. If you're looking into a stock, let me know. I'll, I'll give you my two cents about it. Do what you want, but I'll give you my two cents. Absolutely. Tesla, we keep testing this trend line. Could just sell, I guess. I'm, I'm waiting for something crazy spike to happen. Like, I already missed it. You can see here with the RSI. I'm just, I just want that to happen one more time. I'm, I'm doing a little hope investing right now. You know what I mean? Not not smart investing, just hope investing. Like, you know what? Just like, just go boom. Go boom for one candle and then I'll sell. That's all I want. Come on, Elon. Help me out. But, uh practical investor here would we'll just sell take the money and leave you know what i mean you don't you don't need to wait for a dollar difference just sell and get out sell and get out not it's not bad which you know what i'm gonna again i'm gonna keep my um principled investor hat on and just sell out i think i'm okay with it making lower lows 
or sorry, lower highs, I think that's at least somewhat of a good indicator. Call it good. That's it. You love to see a set of video chart set up things you look for entry and exit, etc. Um, I kind of did that. Uh, if you're looking for like chart setup and everything, I have a video called four indicators. It's called like the only indicators you need or something like that. And I go over these four indicators in depth. So everything I'm using here, again, I haven't changed my tactics at all. I still use the same exact strategy. I go over the 50, the 200 moving averages, what, what these even are and how to use them, the RSI and the MACD and how to use those and when to look for setups. So I actually did make a video on that. If you want to check it out, go for it. I think it's really good and really informational. Um, the video didn't do super well uh, for metrics, but I think it's great. I think it's great info, which is why I made it, but... No one really cares. No one, no one, no one really cares about like the principled stuff anymore. It's kind of sad, but everyone goes on and watches like YOLO investments, stuff on crypto, stuff like that. It's really upsetting, which is fine. You know, I mean, that's what the people want. I get it, but like, there's you know, you gotta learn this stuff too. At least in my opinion. But yeah, if you guys want to check out the indicators video, I do have one, and it's it's a really good video. Like I promise, it's really good info. Um, go check that out. And leave a like on those videos. I'm telling you, if you like the stuff, hit the like button on everything. It's good. I think Tesla is trying to break out here. Um, I'm ready for it. I'm waiting for it. I got my sell button ready on my Weeble app. I'm just, I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting for that spike. Hehehe. <laughs> No worries. I, got, there's a, I have a lot of videos, so I completely understand. Oh, there's the alert, and here's the spike. Lovely. Let's see a little. I'm going to wait one more candle just to see what's up. Uh, see if this is just like a fake out or if this is actual euphoria. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. See? Sometimes it pays to wait. Um, But yeah, I I personally wouldn't recommend the yellow stuff. Like... It's fun and exciting and people are making millions with it, but like, it's not, it's a lottery ticket. Like, let's be honest. It's a lottery ticket. Come on. There's such better things to do out there, especially if you're looking to make money consistently. Do it that way. Like, just do it that way. It's not, it's not hard. Do the yellow stuff too. Just don't spend all your money on it. Do both. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with doing both. All right. We got the new high of day, 1100, almost exactly. Um... I just sold, so that feels nice. Money, and yeah, this absolutely could break more, and it does, look at that, just gonna keep going, which is completely fine with me. I'm perfectly fine with that. It broke through this trend line, which is also really good, um, and it can keep going all the way up to like back up to 1200, like it absolutely could, and I, I acknowledge that, and I'm okay with it as well. I want it to, even though that I got out, like I want this thing to go crazy. So I'm okay with all of that. I got out, I made money, I'm happy with my trade. That's principled investing. Don't care if it goes up higher, it's okay. You made money, move on. There's gonna be a, an opportunity later. There's always another opportunity, just chill. I see that so many times where people like get out and they make money and they're like, ugh, I made money, can you believe it? And it's like, dude, like relax. <laughs> I only made 10% when I could have made 20. Oh, it's like, okay, but you made 10%. Like people lost 10% today. Think about that. Make your money and leave. Make your money and leave. That's it. That's it. It's crazy how many people feel bad about their money after they make money, after they do a good trade and they feel bad. It's crazy how people think. But that's it. I mean, so many people do it. And I was, I was guilty of it as well. I've done that. At the beginning, when I only made 15% instead of 25, and I was like, oh, stupid trade. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You did it perfectly. Relax. Like, it's okay. You had an entry point, you had an exit point, and the plan worked. Just because it went a little bit too according to plan doesn't mean a thing. Like, just chill. I made money. I'm happy. I don't care if this goes up to 1200. I did a principled trade, and I'm okay with that. No YOLOs, nothing. Pure technical analysis. Now the question is, what do I do with my money? Because now I have all this buying power. 
Again, the options are to pad up my bad investments. As you can see where my position size is, is right here. I'm at 1637. This thing's obviously well below that. I could pad it and dollar cost average down. I'm okay with doing that, but I don't, I don't have to do it today is basically what I'm saying. I could do that, but I could wait as well. Uh, Cause I do have some uh, red investments as well that I'm more than happy to wait on, but I could make it a little bit quicker by padding it by dollar cost averaging down like tattooed chef for instance, uh, cause we are at that uh, support line again, uh, almost, I mean, right now, actually we are, so I could do it, um, on this, on, on SoFi, Upwork even, I'm well, I, this one's not a huge position size, so I don't really care, but I could pad it as well. Palantir is another one, add it. This one's not nearly as bad, but yeah, could do that Corsair. Yeah, so I could pad up my bad investments or I could just switch it all together into something completely different. So like a firm, I could pad it, which is nice, or like throw it into Matterport. Throw it into something completely new that I'm not in, but get my feet wet and then ride those um, euphorics, euphoria, whatever, high, right? Uh, Roblox is another example. I could finally get my feet wet with Roblox and then ride that back up to highs. Right, because here's what you gotta think. If we do get highs eventually, right? We're talking 35% on Roblox. Uh, let's go to Matterport. So 35% on Roblox. Then on Matterport, we're talking 63%, like crazy stuff, right? Um, what's another one? Not PayPal, not yet. PayPal I wish was a good play, but it just it just isn't more. Or crazily, I could throw it in a YOLO stock like AMC. Oh, Finally get into AMC. I don't really want to do that right now. I want to wait for the head and shoulders, which would be right around $25. Um, so I might wait for that, but I could try something like this. I haven't been in AMC ever yet, but I'm more than happy to get into it. Um, I know I was just talking mad crap on like YOLOs and everything, but AMC is a really interesting meme uh, technical analysis stock. And if it does stick to that pattern, maybe that'd be really interesting. That would be interesting. Then I could make a video on it. It'd be fun. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I'm going to wait on my money. Just chill. I don't have to do anything. Uh, Facebook. Oh, looks like we are breaking above. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. I'm up 5% on Facebook as well. It broke through the trend line. Do I hold it? Do I keep it? Clearly broke through too. It's not even a small break. It is a very clean, full breakthrough. How about this trend line? Like, what's this looking like? Like that. I don't know. I want to sell soon. This does seem like a good day to do it. It's up 3%, which is pretty big for Facebook it's a blue chip. I don't know. I don't know. Look at Tesla here one more time. How we doing? Solidating around the top here. I think it will break through. Give it, give it a candle or two. I think it will absolutely do it. Seems like people are ready. Let's see if Elon's ready. Cause I feel like you might sell and you might see some big down spikes. That. Yeah, Facebook, I don't know. We're at all-time highs. Or not all-time highs, sorry. Just high a day. Oh. Is there any stock under $15 that is doing well? Uh, Depending, like like a good price? I'd say SoFi is probably your bet. SoFi, I think, is a really good long-term play, if that's what you're depending on doing. Like, right now, it's at 15 exactly. And so... Like personally, I think this is a really good play uh, because if it hits back on the euphoria and hits new highs, we're talking 63%. Doesn't say it has to. Let's say you just write it back to the technical analysis trend line. Like here, it's still 23-ish percent, which is like isn't bad, right? So that's about your Facebook play. I mean, nothing crazy, right? Like I just bought the dip here um, not that long ago, probably like, I don't know, three, like five trading days ago, like somewhere around here, I think. I think I bought like now, maybe even earlier. I don't remember exactly if it was last week or two weeks ago. 
it could have been both. I could have like bought here and bought here, but either way, I bought like right around here and I've been just waiting for the trend line. Why did I do that? Because again, I saw the support here. You can see it's almost exactly at the price I'm in, right? That's not terribly hard to see. Look how many times it bounces up from this line. It breaks through it, breaks down, right? If it breaks above, huge, right? It's a very clear trend line or sorry, very clear support. So it, n nothing crazy about this play. I, I bought at the support twice, I think, maybe even three times. Very small amount. I'm not even at a full stock, right? Very fractional. Um, and then we're at the trend line. Like nothing nothing crazy. This is pretty textbook. Again, this I wasn't I put, didn't put a lot of money in it because I only saw about 5% return, which is exactly what I'm seeing right now is 5% return. So I am correct on my play, but now it's the fact that we broke through the trend line that makes me like think twice like okay well now that we're through the trend line are we going to start making higher highs and I can get more money or should I just sell out and you know take that small miracle for what it is and call it good and then you also have to think about it's Facebook right so it's clearly going to do better in the long run like we're talking months if, if that's our time period like months like here's the day chart clearly this is going to make high like new highs of all time eventually right like eventually it has to do that so i mean i don't know i don't know palantir is also an amazing stock i'm in palantir i love palantir like look how look how patterned it is it just stays within this trend line channel trade buy here sell here buy here sell here buy here sell here uh sadly we broke through because december has been a nightmare for stocks so we broke under, but so as you can see here, I bought it $21 because right at the trend line again, like nothing pretty textbook here, just very textbook. Um, but I'm still going to sell here, right? So I'm just going to wait for it to get back up into it, buy again, and then sell here. Nothing's changed about my play. So yeah, Palantir is an amazing stock. I think, I think it's pretty viable right now. As you can see here, there's a very clear bounce on the day chart and we are, we are making higher highs and higher lows. So, I mean, yeah, it's a good stock. I think you're going to wait probably a month, maybe even two months before you sell it. But if that's not a problem, I think it's a great stock. Like I'm in it. So clearly I think it's a good stock, but even if I wasn't in it, like I still think it's a really good company. It's continually made, like look at the financials here. Okay. Well, these are not isn't right at all. What, what am I looking at? <laughs> what is this balance sheet? Cash flow? Oh, wait, income statement. There we go. So yeah, look, 35% year over year growth. 35%, we're talking 400 million. Like, come on, that's huge. That's massive. Yeah, great company. Do I think Leap is good on Facebook? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think Leaps are great on Facebook, especially with Metaverse and whatever. Uh, yeah, absolutely, 100%. I mean, I don't know about right now, right now, because it's pretty euphoric. Like, I, uh, So pricing might be stupid. Like, let me, let me look here. So you're saying like six months out, so like maybe April, give or uh, maybe even longer, June. <laughs> that is pretty expensive pricing for contracts, I'll be honest. I don't know about that. Yeah. Again, because you're doing it on a day where it's like very euphoric, up 3%, you're going to get terrible contract prices for calls. That's what happens. When volatility is high on the buying side, you're going to get terrible pricing when it's terrible on the selling side. So let's say Facebook was down 5% today, then it's amazing contract pricing for calls, right? So again, this isn't good pricing. I would say it's really expensive. Yeah. Kind of everything is super expensive. I don't know. This might, this wouldn't be a great day, like a specific day to do it. You got to wait for like a downturn, like a correction and then get into a leap. But yeah, I think leaps in general for Facebook are great. I think six months from now, this thing should be well beyond uh, highs of all time. Like it definitely should be as long as nothing bad happens in the news um, and they don't mess up anything with their partner companies. I think it's going to be a massive and for sure this will be up higher than 384 in six months for sure. As again, as long as there's no news, as long as nothing crazy happens again, it's a big caveat, a big, but, but you know, again, if nothing crazy happens and they just stick to the status quo easy, easy money. So yeah, leaps on Facebook is, I think is, is a great strategy, but just not today.
do it do it when we do it when it like is really negative then get into it then get into it yeah great companies you guys are picking it out really well yeah yeah rob if you want to learn more about like contract pricing like it is a little bit complex i don't know how much you know about it but yeah i'd, I'd say look up videos on leaps that kind of thing basic contract fundamentals that kind of thing i have a video on it so you can take a look at that um because it, it is kind of interesting because there are you you'd think that just like getting into it is just like anything like getting into a stock is the same thing as in like if i get into a stock today at twenty dollars or if i get into a stock tomorrow at twenty dollars it's the same thing you are correct in that but if you get a contract in now and you get into a contract tomorrow they are vastly different even if everything about them are the same strike price expiration date whatever the pricing is different on a day-to-day -day basis, depending on the implied volatility of the stock, which is pretty big, uh, which is pretty big to know, and it's really hard to implement. But the basics of it, if it's doing really well, I personally wouldn't get into calls at all if it was doing really well, the stock, if you're looking into leaps, just because the implied volatility is not in your favor. But if it's going really far down, let's say you bought here, right? Then the implied volatility is heavily in your favor, and then the contracts are dirt cheap compared, and then you get more money, right? faster, which is great. And then you can even get out of the leap earlier and make the money and not even worry about six months. You maybe be in it for two weeks, right? So yeah, you got to learn that kind of basics of contracts and then you're looking really good. Learn the Greeks, right? The Delta, the Theta, the Gamma, that kind of stuff. That's really important to know. But other than that, like, again, it's, it's a vast amount of knowledge, but once you get the fundamentals down, it's a lot more easy, right? It's a lot more, you have a lot more confidence behind your decisions. Okay, so Facebook, I don't know what to do with this. Again, I'm kind of, I'm on it for so long because just because I don't know if I should sell or not. Again, I'm in a good position because I'm like, I'm up money, right? So it's just how much money am I going to make, not if I'm going to make money at all. But I don't know. I don't know. Spy, speaking of which, I haven't talked about that in a little bit, but we're up at 474. Uh, is that new highs of all time? No, we're 50 cents away. 50 cents away from all-time highs, which is crazy. We can definitely hit that today. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, yeah, I would love to see new highs of the day. I don't know, I don't know if it's going to happen real soon. You can see the RSI is pretty overextended. So I think a pullback is in the cards here soon. Um, but we'll see. This is great, though. This is wonderful. This is exactly what I wanted to see today complete euphoria that's what i wanted to see and that is where we are green screen screen everything is green everything is just looking good wow rivian just out of nowhere shot up look at this Oof. wow up six percent easy why Um, no one knows. No news on it. Just, uh, it's just up. Oh, well, good job, Rivian. Okay, go back to the... So here's the 4-hour chart with Rivian. Again, this is an IPO stock still, in my opinion. I don't think... I don't, I don't think anything is out of the woods from IPO until like six months away, to be completely honest with you. And it's only been a month and a half, so... Yeah, huge, crazy euphoria to 174, dropped all the way down to 107, and it's been a slow decline, all the way to 88, and then looks like we bounced there. So that's the bounce. Crazy euphoria today on nothing, on no news? I guess no news. It just is. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is kind of crazy. I don't know if I like this, for instance. Like, honestly, I think this might just be like a fake out. Like, I might, like, I think this is going to just pull back tomorrow is, is my guess, but we'll see. If I were given $200, where would I invest it? Good question. 200 Hmm. If I'm trying to make money as quick as possible, um, well, I don't know if I would invest it today, to be completely honest with you. I don't know if I would invest it today. Probably wait a couple days, see what the market wants, because we are at a interesting point. What I mean by that, if we go back to SPY, right, and we look at the big picture four-hour mark, we're very, very much overextended on the RSI, 
All right, MACD is starting to curl back down. Like things are looking like selling, like a pullback's about to happen, which is why I'm selling things today. Uh, right, so a pullback, if it does happen today or tomorrow, or sorry, tomorrow or the next day, you shouldn't be surprised. Like everything is showing you right here. Everything is right here is showing you very clearly that, hey, maybe a pullback's about to happen. So what I would wait on is that pullback. I might just wait for it to see how far we pull back. Let's say in the next couple of days we come back all the, or maybe this week, you know, we end up coming back down to 465, right? Something like this, bounce off the 50 and the 200 and then make higher highs. I'd probably buy out of the money calls at 465. What that would look like is you go to options, right? And then I'd do at least a week out, even nine days, right? Let's Okay, let's just assume it's Friday today and we're at 465. Let's just assume that. I know that's a big, ridiculous thing to think about, but let's just assume that, right? And then what I would do is buy out of the money calls. What that would look like is like something like this, right? Something like that. So you just buy one contract of calls, not selling. You're going to buy it. You're going to buy a call at like 479 or something out of the money, something that you can afford. So it has to be under $2, right? And then ride that up to a point, depending on what. Again, it's hard to say exactly what to ride it up to because I, I don't know what the price action is. We got we got time. But when that does happen, I will absolutely tell you. But I would wait on call options, to be honest, if you're just trying to like get money as quick as possible. If you're trying to be a little bit more principled and you're trying to nail down like stock fundamentals, obviously throw it into something that's not call options. Throw it into something a little bit better. What that would be, pff, could be a lot of things. SoFi, again, is a good purchase. Palantir is a not bad purchase. Matterport's not a bad purchase. All right, there's tons of companies you can throw it in and just like leave it and don't and forget about it and come back to it like a week later and make money. But if you're trying to make money like quick, like trying to like two times it, three times it in a month, that kind of thing, I would I would suggest call options on SPY. That's That's just me. Do whatever you want though. NVIDIA, yeah, we talked about NVIDIA a little bit here. Um, it's, oh, oh, look at that pop-up. I had no idea. I, I talked about it like at, right at the beginning. I didn't even see this thing. It's up 4%. Huh. Well done, which is really good because it's breaking trend line. What I mean by that is this. Completely broke through. Looks like everything is breaking through that trend line today, which is crazy. But yeah, broke through cleanly. Such a clean break which is awesome. Um, this is huge, super bullish. Everything's looking good. Uh, would I get into it right now? I don't know. I'd probably wait for the pullback. I'm not about buying things when they're euphoric. I don't like this. Sorry. I don't, I love to see it when I'm already in it, but I hate to see it if I'm not in it already. Like to me, this isn't a buy. To me, this is like it already happened. And then now I got to wait for the pullback. Just getting into investing and starting with 200 beautiful i started with 100 uh years and years ago and i mean it's it's sustained right like that's you just have to be smart about it that's it learn fundamentals that's what i would say learn fundamentals if you're just getting into investing probably don't do the call option strategy probably don't do that just because it's risky, it's very stressful if you're just getting into it. Like, it's probably not the greatest idea. If you're just getting into stocks, that does change my answer a little bit, Ryan. If you're just getting into it, get into like a easy, slow growth company. Okay. Something like that. Like, again, I kind of called out a couple of those. Like, SoFi is a good example, that kind of thing. Slow growth. Um, you can even do bigger companies like Apple or something, right? I know I just sold out of Apple. Oh, speaking of which, guys, I sold out literally at the peak at the peak almost to the cent i was 10 cents off the peak i sold and it got rejected see that's the trend line you gotta you gotta obey the trend line can't make it up can't make it up anyway let's see like is amazon a good idea Eh, it's not great not great how about, how about google no not really let me think. I'm trying to think of a good beginner stock to get into for you, Ryan. Give me, give me a second. Think. Video is not bad. Hmm. It's a hard one. Roblox is interesting. I don't think this is a good beginner stock, though. Interesting, but it's not good for. Man, that is a hard question. 
The problem is that you're, Ryan, you're entering into a market that is really euphoric right now. What I mean by that is overall, it's going really well. Again, if you look at the SPY here, what the SPY is, is an S&P 500 ETF. Because this is the S&P 500. I'm sure you've heard that before, at least. It's a, a market of the top 500 companies, right? And you can see those exact 500 companies on the whatever, on the Vanguard website on what this ETF is covering. It's like Tesla, Apple, Google, Microsoft, blah, 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 blah. It's all those big ones. And it just averages out uh, their prices depending on the weight of the portfolio. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. And what I mean by that is like, look how euphoric it is. Huge rise. The RSI here, which is an indicator showing the strength of a stock is really high. If it's over this 70 mark, which it is, it's overextended. It's overbought. When it's overbought, what you can expect is selling. And you can see that literally all over history. Like look over here, it was high. And then look what happened. Huge sell-off. It was high, huge sell-off, high, huge sell-off, uh, even earlier. Super high, huge sell-off, high sell-off, right? It happens over and over and over and over again. Like, so you can expect, because of history, because it's here, you can expect a sell-off to happen. How big that sell-off is, I don't know. Maybe not big at all, but probably going to happen. So I would wait for you with that $200 on the market to come back down because you have to buy the dip. That's a huge fundamental thing in stocks, right? You buy low, you sell high. Obvious on paper, but much more difficult when you put it into practice because you don't want to buy things when they're going low because it looks bad because you're like, well, it can go lower and you're absolutely correct. And most times you probably are correct. It probably will go lower, but that's okay because you're buying it at a good price at a discount and then you're going to sell it at a higher price and then you'll be good to go. So again, it's really hard right now because everything's nice and euphoric. The time to buy was a week ago when everything was dirt cheap and everyone was freaking out and chaotic. That was the time to buy. Now no one's freaking out, so everyone's throwing their money back in the market, which makes the deals really difficult to find, if any. If any. Crazily, this thing almost went up to 475, which is nuts. Uh, wait, is that new high of all time? Not yet. We were five cents away from all time highs. That's crazy. Oh, the market's insane today. Yeah, Disney, not a bad one. I was, I was looking at Disney a lot too. Yeah. So as you can see here, uh, their earnings came out here and they went terribly because of, well, obviously because of like COVID. And so no one went to the movies, right? And then their Disney plus subscriber counts wasn't as high as they wanted it to be, stuff like that. So anyway, this thing fell heavily, fell, 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 all the way to 142. It is making higher highs and higher lows slowly, but oh, actually it isn't making higher highs. I lied. Kind of getting stopped out here. Like here's the kind of the rejection that's not looking good but um again like when is a good time to get into this i don't know like i think it, this needs to marinate a little bit more i think it might come back down right follow this kind of line indicator yeah so i think it very well could just come back down to this line and that's kind of when i would buy is when it hits this line it's like 147 148 something like that i'm uh, not saying it has to it could just break through this and make higher highs and go be on a fast track but if i were to kind of look at this objectively with technical analysis i would say wait for this to come back down to 147 that's what i would say Ugh. But yeah, Disney's not a bad uh, option as well. Not a bad option. Yeah, this is called an ascending pattern. It's the same resistance, but a rising support. Ascending pattern. Good to see. That's a really strong, bullish thing to see. I would wait for it to hit that ascending trend line. That's just me. But again, do what you want. Facebook. 
Yeah, I really don't know what to do with this stock. The trend is on the upswing year to day. No, absolutely. No, 100%. And not even just year to day, like literally even sooner than that it is. I think Disney revolves around COVID fears. I think everything revolves around COVID fears, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like if you, so what you're saying is like, you look at the day chart and we are trending. Like that. No, 100%. You're absolutely right. We're on the upswing year to date. 100%. Actually, that that's kind of a bad example here. Let's look at like, wait, year to day. No, from the year to date, we're actually lower. Here, here's the first. We're lower than the year to date. Right? That's the year to date. That's what we're looking at. Year to year, we're we're much lower. So that that's not even true. But yeah, uh again, we are like historically speaking, really nice and bullish. I did I don't disagree with you. What I'm saying is that like if you're looking for the best trade and most principled trade, you're gonna wait for the trend line. You're gonna wait for that technical analysis. You could absolutely just get in and wait here. I just again, like I think you're gonna hit lower first before you hit higher. So it's like, do you wanna wait for that or do you just wanna be in it, do whatever you want. That's completely fine. If you're gonna hold this for months, who cares, right? As long as it goes higher. But what I would say is a principled trade is to wait until the dip to get in the mode of buying the dip. This is Weeble uh, that we're using here. It's an amazing charting software and free brokerage. If you wanna get a Weeble account, like I don't know what you're using, like Robinhood or something right now, get out of Robinhood, do something else. Use Weeble, I have a link down in the description. You can open up a, an account absolutely free to do and you get two free stocks if you do it uh, through my link. So you get two free stocks, so you get even more money uh, than you're starting and they're free as well. So you're just already in the stock market immediately when you open an account. Yeah, I mean, go for it. Like, honestly, this is the best one. Use the desktop uh, app for uh, Weeble. The, the app's fine as well, but the desktop app is what clearly makes it better than anything else, is that look at all this software. Like, look at all the indicators that I can use, all this stuff. Like, it's great. All the line styles. Let's say if you don't want original candles, you want Japanese candles. Boom. There you go. You can do everything. Oh, it's so wonderful. And if you're just like a basic trader like me, like someone that doesn't need like Fibonacci, whatever, doesn't need whatever, it even has Fibonacci actually, so that's not even true. But, you know, basic indicators and basic uh, drawings, this is perfect. It's perfect. It's the best free software out there for charting. The best. Not even close. Yeah, so open up an account. Do that in the description kind of computer am I using to trade with? I have a laptop, but what I'm using to stream is my desktop. So I have a um, AMD a Ryzen 5 uh, processor, a 1070 graphics card. That's what I have. <laughs> Good luck propping up the local economy. <laughs> I as well I'm probably gonna get off here real soon. It doesn't look like anything's really happening today. It looks like we're just kind of going higher and higher, nice and euphoria, you know what I mean? Good stuff, just not, it's not exciting. Haven't made an account yet for anything, but cards, 100%. Uh, guy, I'm not even saying this because like I have a link, but I'm saying this because I use it personally. I'm not like sponsored by Weeble. It's the best. It's the best software out there for charting. That's free. That's free. That's the caveat. That's free. Because trading view is amazing and better, but it costs money. And I don't want to for it. So yeah, it's the best free option, especially for beginners. Oh my god, they make it so easy and so user friendly. Like it's it's not even a close competition. Not even close. So yeah. Use the description below. Uh hit the link. And then it takes you like five minutes. Like that's it. It takes you five minutes to make an account and then boom, you can just download the app from their website, throw it on your desktop, done. Like it's so simple and easy. Fund your account, easy, easy, easy money. Yeah, go for it, simple stuff. Uh, also, if you wanna get into crypto, I have a Coinbase link down below if you wanna trade crypto not on your free brokerage. Like the, you can trade crypto on um, Weeble. I have a separate account just so I, I can see it clearly that hey, this is my crypto account, this is my stock account just mentally makes it a lot easier for me, but you can do that as well. I have a Coinbase link down below. You get 10 free dollars in Bitcoin, 10 free bucks. 
just there you go nice anyway yeah i think i'm gonna call it here i mean i don't see anything crazy upstarts up nicely i guess which is cool i don't know like i don't everything is up that's that's the news today you you got it here first everything is up just uh doing its thing that's it it's just doing its thing no crazy stories no news nothing which is good and bad good and bad let's see last check for any news anything anything at all Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index. I don't know if that's good. Yeah, no news. I mean, there's just nothing happening. Which isn't a bad thing, guys. No news is good news for the market, for sure. Uh, we are two, or sorry, three cents away from all-time highs, which is great. Um, Which is awesome. Um, and then, yeah, I think we are definitely going to break new highs today. It'd be crazy if we didn't. I mean, we're right there. We're right there. I'm going to figure out what to do with Facebook here. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. See Bitcoin getting above. Uh, not soon. I don't think 60,000 soon. I mean, the thing that drove it last time was like uh, news of stuff happening. So I don't I don't know about soon, but definitely within the within, you know, by next year, definitely should be up over 60,000. Um, I don't know when. I don't know when, I'll be honest with you. As a time frame, I mean, if it's stuck to this trend line, 24, so that'd be three months. Yeah, probably, I could imagine within the next three months it hits 60. Hard to say, though. You know what I mean? Bitcoin, like, crypto in general just moves so erratically. It's like, it's hard to say when. It doesn't follow specific trend lines, usually. So I don't know. I could see within three months it goes up to 60 again, but that would mean everything is going well, no bad news. In fact, good news needs to happen for that to happen. So like, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like Ethereum is probably a better prospect with like Ethereum 2.0 coming out and all these like other projects. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know. It's hard to speculate in crypto. It really is because it's like, ugh. It's not like they have earnings, you know what I mean? It's not like they have news coming out every quarter. On it's it's so difficult. So yeah, I can imagine within the next three months it's going to sixty k. Will it? Will that happen? Pfft. No one knows. Not a single person knows. Not a single person. But yeah, I'm in crypto. I'm in Bitcoin and Ethereum and ADA. Those are my three that I trade, and I love it. I love it. It's so fun to watch. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else we need to do today? I don't think so. I think, I think I'm okay ending it here. We streamed for about, what, hour 20 minutes? Yeah, hour 20 minutes. Good enough. I'm good with that. Hit the like button if you haven't on the video. If you're new here, Ryan, I, I don't think I've seen your name here before. If you're new here, that's awesome. Join the Discord. That's the biggest thing. Like, Hit the link down below. Join the Discord. You'll see every time I go live, every trade I make, everything, which is great. Hit the like button on the video if you haven't already. And I think I'm just going to call it there, guys. It was awesome. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. I stream every single market open. And I think we're going to end, hopefully, seeing an all-time high. Maybe. Oh, come on. Let me end on a good note here. Just sit over. I need four cents. Maybe. Oh, it's so close. Come on, four cents. Just pop it up. Do it for the stream. Mark it. Do, do it for the stream. Oh, it's one cent away. Right there. If I sign up, I get five free stocks. Oh, that's right. Holiday deal. I totally forgot. It. Yeah, it's December. Yeah, you get five free stocks. Five free stocks. I think the average price of them is like $4. So, I mean, that's an extra like 20 to 25 bucks. Just free, just for doing it. I mean, come on, five free stocks right now. How do you not? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do it before December is over though. So, you gotta be a little quick with it. But if you are five free, I mean, I mean, you have the possibility of getting like Apple or Tesla stocks and getting an ama amazing amount of money. But I think the average price of them is like four to five bucks. That's my guess. I don't know, actually. I did get, like, a, a really good stock last time. 
I don't know. It depends. It's all chance, but I think, yeah. And there we go. Boom. New high of all time. All time high broke. We are ending the stream there at a very good note of euphoria for the market. I will be back on tomorrow. Everyone make a lot of money. Open your accounts. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Check out my other videos. Do all of the stuff. Let's make some money and end this year on a green note. All right. Have a good one, guys.